Good morning. I'm Carissa Badia. Good morning. I'm Charlie Garwood. The JHS Report is next. Anchor Club Spring Hill Angel Gifts are due by Tuesday, December 13th, after school. Please make sure you have the angel's name on it and it is wrapped. If anyone wants to participate, please see Ms. Molinar. Anchor Club Center for Lay Mysteries Food Drive will end on the morning of Thursday, December 15th. All food is scheduled to be picked up at 9 a.m. in front of the building on the 15th. The Jeff High Dance Team competed for the first time at Jam Fest this weekend. This is a large competition and most of the girls on the dance team have never competed before. They were up against Lexington Catholic High School's dance team, which is a very experienced team that has placed well at nationals in the past years. Jeff received second place and were only four points behind first place. For the first time as a team going to a competition, the girls did an amazing job representing JHS. Congratulations to Jeff High Dance Team, Rhea Franklin, Heather Hoagland, Dorica Jones, Christina Peter, Larissa Sigler, Taylor Kellum, Abby Roth, Samantha Blakely, Kara Bocher, Jordan Carpenter, Caitlin Porter, Justine Knowles, and Alexis Martin. The Jeff High Performing Arts Department had a busy two weeks. This Tuesday, December 13th at 7 p.m., it's the Winter Choir Concert. Everyone come out and enjoy a festive performance by the JHS Choir students. Anyone interested in joining Business Professionals of America needs to attend the meeting after school in room B205 on Thursday, December 15th. All seniors must have their pictures made, even if they have them made with Live Touch. These pictures are pictures that are used in creating the yearbook. Thursday, December 15th, Wildlands Photography will be in the Media Center all day. Cost is $10 cash. Then Thursday, January 19th, Click Photography will be in the Media Center all day. Cost is $10 cash. Sign up for your pictures in the front office before or after school. The Winter Art Show is now on display through the 14th in Jeff High Media Center. Stop by and see the great work created by our own Jeff High art students. The JHS Report is happy to air your announcement. Have a teacher or staff member email Mr. Gross the announcement and we will do our best to make sure that your announcement gets on the air. We will have the JHS weather forecast plus your latest Jeff High sports after the break. Attention Clark County residents. Thank you for voting Moby Dick Seafood your number one choice for seafood in Clark County. We serve high quality cod sliced and breaded daily. Delicious onion rings sliced and breaded daily, never frozen. We are located at 1700 East 10th Street in Jeffersonville. Open till 9 Monday through Thursday, 10 p.m. Friday and Saturday, and 8 p.m. on Sunday. Stop by and enjoy a whale of a sandwich. Numerous Jeff High athletes have received scholarships to play sports at the collegiate level. Curious as to what influenced them to pick each one? Then pick up your copy of The Hyphen. Coming out Friday, December 16th, the first ever JHS issue to be featured in full color. Good morning, I'm Don Conway with a look at today's JHS weather forecast. Today, cloudy skies, high around 64. Tonight, cloudy with occasional rain late. Thunder possible, low around 55. Chance of rain 70%. Rainfall around a quarter of an inch. Tomorrow, cloudy with rain ending in the afternoon. High around 60. Chance of rain about 70%. Rainfall near a quarter of an inch. Let's look at your latest JHS weather forecast. Now here's a look at JHS Sports with Curtis Essery. Good morning. I'm Curtis Essery with the latest Jeff High Sports. Last night, both Red Devil swimming and diving teams dominated Madison at the Jeff High Pool. The girls won in dominating fashion with a 108-68 score, while the boys continued their undefeated season by winning 144-36. Leading the Red Devil efforts last night were Hannah Martin with wins in the 50 free and in the 100 backstroke, Kia Gwynn with wins in the 100 butterfly and 100 breast, Carly Judd in the 200 IM and the 500 free, Alexis Waldrop in diving, Elizabeth Brown in the 100 free, and two relays won. On the guy side, the Devils were led by Matt Smith in the 100 back, Max Weedkamp in the 200 IM, Sean Kennedy in the 500 free, Evan Shive in the 200 free and the 100 fly, Josh Phelps in the 50 free, Connor Richardson in diving, Tyler Sarascani in the 100 free, Zach Griss in the 200, 200 free, Damian Hazel in the 100 breast. All three relays teams won. 
both teams will travel to Floyd Central on Thursday. South Oldham beat Jeff High in girls basketball 70 to 52. Haley Vogan had 17 points and Lake and Roland added 11. Jeff is now 1 and 6 on the year. Girls and boys track conditioning is underway. You'll need a physical to begin practice. Anyone who plans on playing football next season needs to attend weightlifting sessions held on Tuesdays and Thursdays in December. Ever want to know what it's like to stay awake for more than 24 hours straight? Three Hyphen staff members did that, chronicling the effects it had on their bodies. To read about it, pick up Friday's issue of the newspaper, the first ever JHS issue to be featured in full color. This holiday season, shop, dine, and skate in downtown Jeffersonville. The Jeffersonville Parks Department is bringing a little bit of Rockefeller Center to downtown Jeffersonville with the opening of the Jeffersonville Ice Skating Rink. From November 25th through January 1st, it's exciting ice skating for the entire family. The ice rink is located at the corner of Spring and Market Streets. Cost including skates is just $8, $6 each for groups of 10 or more. Visit www.jeffparks.org for rink times, discounts, and other events. Would you like to do something special for a friend for their birthday? You can with WJHS Birthday Greeting. It's very simple. Bring six pictures and five dollars to WJHS room H130 and we'll help you say happy birthday. That's the latest Jeff High News. I'm Charlie Garwood. And I'm Carissa Padilla. Thank you for watching the JHS Report.